Hi there, welcome to Homeschooling with Hera. I hope you all are well. In today's video, I shall tell you open and close syllables rule and how to teach this rule to your kids. Okay, why is it important to tell this rule to children? This rule helps in decoding so many English spellings that we simply take as exception. So if you know this rule and if you teach this rule to your students, it will be so good for them to spell and pronounce a word correctly. Let's first see what does the open syllable rule say. If a syllable ends in vowel, vowel say its name. Like the word baby, here the syllable is ending at a. So a will not say its short sound, rather its name, that is the long vowel sound a, baby. Okay, resend. Here again, eh is saying e because it's at the end of the syllable. Tiny, t, i, tiny. Robot, r, o, boat, robot. Cupid, k, u, pid, cupid. Sometimes the letter i deviates from this rule. So you need to be flexible because I has different sounds. If you want to know about the different sounds of I, so the link is up there and in the description box, you can watch it later, right? Now the closed syllable, what does this rule say? If the syllable is ending in a vowel and consonant, means that we have a consonant right after the vowel. So the vowel say it's short sound, right? It will not say a, it say a, the short sound, like in k, a, n, can, d, e. Why will say e sound? Because it's a multisyllabic word. If you don't know this rule, the link is in the description box. You can watch it later. Candy, r, a, d, red. After e, we have d, the consonant. So we shall say the short sound of this. Timber, t, a, m, tim. Burr, cotton, k, oct, cot, and again we have a vowel here with a consonant, so tan, cotton, butter, b, a, t, the short sound of u is a, uh. so here this vowel is saying its short sound because of the consonant right after it, okay? So this is the open and closed syllable rule, and now I am going to tell you how to teach these rules to your children to avoid any kind of frustration in reading these simple words. Now let's see how this rule will help you in reading these words, okay? First tell the kids to mark the vowels in any word. In this word we have a eh and a. Eh. First try to read this word with the short sounds of vowel like eh, l, hell, m, at, mit, hell, mit. Helmet. Does it sound correct? Yes. So yes, here the walls are in their short sound. And you can see that after the wall, we have a consonant. It means that when there is a consonant after a wall, the wall says it's short sound, right? Now let's see this word. Suppose I don't know this word. I am going to mark the walls first. It's a and y as the long e because it's a multisyllabic word. And Y says E at the end of multisyllabic words. First, I will try reading this word with the short sound of vowels. B, A, B, Bab, E, Bab, E, Bab, E. No, it doesn't sound correct. Let's read it with the long sound of vowel. B, A, B, B, E, B, Baby. Yes, it means that this A will say the long sound. It's baby. Now let's decode this word. Mark the vowels E and A. Read the word with the short sound first. D, E, eh, L, Del, A, Del, A. Does it make any sense? No. So let's read this vowel in its long sound. D, E, D, L, A, Lay, delay. Yes, it makes sense with the long vowel sound. And as you notice that this is the first syllable and it is open because after the vowel, we do not have any consonant. The last word is tulip. Let's first mark the vowels. 
U and I. Read it with the short sound. T, A, I, Tal, Ip, Ip, Tal, Ip. No, it doesn't sound right. Let's read it with the long sound. T, U, T, U, L, Ip, Lip, T, U, Lip. Yes, this is correct now. One thing that you always have to mention to the kids that they need to be flexible while reading English words. If the word is not working one way, try to change the sounds of vowels and read it the other way. And whatever makes sense, that is the correct word, right? So that's all for today's class. I hope you have understood it. If you have liked it as well, so please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, so please subscribe to my channel. I shall see you soon with something new. Till then, take care and bye for now. Bye.